Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Uh, coming, you, uh, coming to you today from the, um, well, the Garden Level Studio in the Holman House. And uh, we're going to run cross town here, stay in Lansing, and spend a little time with uh, Lori Richard. She's the owner and CEO of Edge. And uh, Lori, welcome to the show. And I know you've been on before, but you know, it's always a good idea to remind everybody what Edge is and what you do. Thank you, Chris. It's great to spend some time with you this morning. Um, Edge Partnerships, we're 15 years old this year. I can't believe it. We're a strategic marketing and communications agency. Uh, our, our main office is in beautiful downtown Lansing, Michigan, of course. We uh, have a satellite office in Chicago. And uh, new this winter, it's a great time of year to be in Marquette, Michigan. So we have a satellite in, in Marquette, Michigan. That's uh, doing, there's a lot of energy and excitement up in our beautiful Upper Peninsula. So yeah, that's uh, Edge. Um, we do everything from strategy to implementation, uh, tactics, design, um, media placements. We work with a variety, a diverse variety of um, clients from uh, highly regulated industries like banking and insurance to uh, government contracting to uh, some of the, you know, the fun ones that <clears throat> startups and, uh, and helping them grow and realize their dreams and visions for their businesses. Well, you do a tremendous job. And of course, our relationship goes way back. I, I remember you being in a local health system as the marketing director, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun in those days. But you did need to take your talents out and do exactly what you did, which was start a very successful uh, company. All right. So, so how did you guys weather um, covid so um, as you know, uh, we when we left the health system, my business partner, Angela Whitwer, now I, I tease her, the Honorable State Legislator, uh, Angela Whitwer, she is doing her, her great work at the state capitol. Uh, we, uh, the pandemic uh, put us into overdrive. We hired, we grew our staff uh, by about 35% during the pandemic to meet the, the great need for um, communications out there and for marketing services that needed to um, survive this pandemic. Uh, so we came out swinging and we stood alongside of our great clients and, and we, we worked and we worked really hard. Uh, so we fared very well. I don't like to kind of brag about that because there are some of my friends and colleagues who small businesses didn't fare so well, yeah. um, but they'll be back. That entrepreneurial spirit will continue to, to burn and um, they will come back with a, with a more determination than ever, I'm sure. Well, you know, it's interesting. That's a, that's a great segue to the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is what are you seeing out in the marketplace now? I, I know what our numbers are from the Michigan Future Business Index, and there's still that enthusiasm for tomorrow. Oh, it is um, it is just yesterday uh, spending um, time with the Small Business Association of Michigan and their leadership council. The energy, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's two years of pent up energy or people just want to get things done. But we've come out of the gate as this pandemic begins to wane uh, to want to realize uh, our dreams and to put more energy and to just do all those things that maybe we put on the back burner for too long, or we have new passions that have evolved and developed from the pandemic. So uh, there's an energy that I love because I, I, I feed off of the night and I grow with that energy from others. So uh, it's it's going to be a dynamic next couple of years, I think, for business in Michigan. No, I think you're absolutely right. And you know what? Where I, where I talked to uh, George Snyder not long ago about DBI, they do office interiors, so they're redesigning now for the new workplace with with the possibility of COVIDs in the future. You, you've got to see a little of that in your client base because it's a little different market they're going to be coming back into. Oh, absolutely, my. Uh, one of my longest and favorite clients, Farm Bureau Insurance, they're repurposing their whole headquarter building uh, right on the west side of Lansing. Uh, and the way people are, are coming back to work uh, may not be coming back into the office. Maybe it is in their basement level studio, or it's a hybrid of those two. But there is a certain energy when people physically are together. So even throughout these two years, my team, you know, we got together <clears throat> virtually. But we made sure we did that in-person stuff too, uh, using all the precautions that um, you know that were expected. But uh, yeah, people love being together. We're humans, and we're 
we uh, grow and learn. And sometimes there are subtle things you can't pick up through a Zoom. So I think a hybrid is the future. And there are some people who are introverts that love and thrive. Our production has never been higher at our agency, um, no matter where people are working. But we always kind of had that flexibility. I've been on the road with my laptop pulling over to a rest stop to, to get the job done. So yeah, we do what we yeah. need to do wherever we do it. <laughs> I, I, I think it, it forced a lot of us uh, old timers, not yourself, of course, but into the technology world. And it's turned out to be a pretty damn good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, technology and really just picking up, I people have picked up the phone more and more just to have a phone call instead of yeah. shooting a text or something like that. Um, people are just starving for that human interaction. And that's no, you're thing. absolutely right. And getting back in meeting in person is is a, a big part of it too. So yeah, we, we found the same thing that COVID was very strategic and who it helped and who it didn't help. And who was available, I guess, uh, would be the way to say it. Uh, I have a golf course and it had record months because it was one of the few things people could do, you know? Yes, so, absolutely. Enthused and always enthused to spend time with you. Uh, thanks so much for your time uh, today. Laurie Richard, owner and CEO of Edge. Uh, we'll be back uh, to chart your ever, ever moving forward growth in your company. Oh, thank you, Chris. And thank you for all your support through the years. Well, Appreciate you've been, you. You've been, you paid it off with tremendous success. Trust me. I'm Chris Holman. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network.